Friendly reminder to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that notification bell is turned on. Good morning, everyone. Got a lot of things moving around today. And uh, number one, we got to get our leaf box started, put back together. TQ is going to work on mower maintenance, getting them all cleaned up because they have had a heck of a week and they are absolutely trashed. So she's going to work on that. We, uh, we already got the wooden walls off the dump trailer, just simply didn't record. We just ripped them off real quick. And uh, if you guys are new to the channel, we have a pretty incredible leaf box. Some of you uh, guys have been here since last fall have seen it, but it's going to be coming uh, a lot different this year. So we're going to make some changes, make it a little bit better. Tyler's gonna run to the storage unit real quick. TQ's gonna keep working on those. Tyler and myself are gonna run over here to our storage facility. Uh, won't film any there because I never do. But hopefully we don't need that here real soon. But uh, gotta get our walls and our bows and we'll be back. You excited, Tyler? Yeah. <laughs> We're back. How's the uh, pressure washing going, TQ? It's messy, but it's going. It's a little messy. Yeah. So the fun part's about to start here and that's the uh, building process, putting this uh, Lego set back together, I guess you could say. And like I've already kind of mentioned, we are gonna change some stuff up on this thing uh, this year. Just, you know, things we can do better. All right, guys, so just doing some real quick maintenance. There's like little, if you guys remember, we hauled all that limestone for the back all the crushed stuff so there was just little material sitting all around it so tyler's just taking some wd-40 real quick and uh hitting it and then just wiping that residue off just so when those uh walls smash down it's not sitting there just grinding away at our paint <music> So you pretty much got to get them all in place guys all the bolts in place first because those holes are so precise i mean there is zero wiggle room whatsoever so like if this one's not lined up and we tighten it or if this one's lined up and we tighten it up the rest of them might be off so you got to get all those bolts in there first and then tighten them down babe i might need you to get your hand up in here to do these Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm lock it. Good. Let's pull it all out. Probably gonna work against those though, honestly. Right through just the top? You can go through the top. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's why you got a woman on your crew, guys. They actually yeah. use their brain. Sometimes. Me and Tyler's just sitting here like, do do do. Spider or B? B.
So last year when I took it apart, I went ahead and just numbered the panels. If you can pick that up in there. So it pretty much went one through six, I believe it was five. And then I put the arrows just to make it easier to assemble. And uh, pretty much we're just going right in reverse and working our way around. Probably been uh, at it right now about, I don't know, half an hour or so, maybe 40 minutes. Quick little break, me and Tyler's chit-chatting. Savannah's uh, hopefully making me a coffee. But uh, he was talking about his truck. And these dealerships, man, everybody knows right now, trucks are outrageous. And we were literally there, I was there the other day at the same lot accidentally and looking at trucks that he was looking at, and, or not looking at, but looking at used trucks that they had. And guys, most of these trucks were 40 to 45,000 low or high 30s, uh, you know, that were beat up. I mean, really bad shape. Tyler's truck's in really good shape and it has low miles. And these dudes offered you what for, Tyler? 26. $26,000. What year is that? 17. It's a 17, guys. Now, we were just looking up some stuff. Other people are selling his exact truck in worse shape body-wise. Not the nice tires or any of the nice stuff that he's done to it. Uh, for low 40s, mid 40s. So, come on. I mean, 26 grand, that's that's almost just a slap in the face. Tyler's like, dude, what'd you, what'd you say you did? You just walked out? I just out? walked out. <laughs> <laughs> bro you're gonna hit somebody that hard especially right now when i mean dude trucks are going for 70 what was the dodge how much was the dodge you were looking at 67 67 000 and that's pre-tax that's before tax so yeah, pre yeah before tax so you're talking probably close to 75 80 thousand mm -hmm. and they offered you 26 for yours <laughs> yep that is that's uh that's a bit disrespectful right now that's a nice truck and far i mean you could sell that truck right now to any dude if i was you i'd put, that's what i would do i'd put it up for sale and i'd slap 40 i'd slap 42 on it if somebody offers you 40 sell it mm -hmm. i mean twenty six thousand dollars these dealers man <laughs> they're acting they're acting like some different kind of dealers out here right now I know some of you mentioned, why don't I just buy Tyler's truck and use it for the business? Well, simply guys, this is a 1500 model Chevy. Uh, for what we do in our business, we need at least a three quarter ton for snow plowing, pulling the trailers, the weight that we do. Not saying his truck couldn't do it, but longevity wise, you're gonna wanna have a three quarter ton or something bigger. Tyler's out of here for the day. We're not going to make him drive an hour out and then another 20 minutes over and then an hour back. So it'd just be a lot of waste of time. So he's done for the day. We uh, we got about a half day in. It's about what? Probably about 11? Yep. Yeah, half day. Got an early start. All right. Back at Troyer Signs. And 
it's because we're gonna do something here with this trailer, guys. So obviously we wanna have all of our services uh, listed here. What we're trying to figure out though, because we're not gonna wrap like the entire thing, we're pretty much just gonna like letter it. But what we're trying to figure out is do we wanna do black, paint the uh, aluminum black on the outside, or just leave it aluminum and put the list of services, you know, in between the columns all the way around. So obviously we'll have leaf pickup, phone number, uh, curbside pickup, you know, all that stuff on this trailer. Uh, in huge letters. We're gonna do it pretty darn big. So you guys let us know in the comments here Do you think we should paint the outside black? Uh, or just leave it the aluminum leaving it aluminum would probably be easier maintenance wise It won't flake, you know none of that But if I was gonna paint it, I would take it in and have it professionally done uh, Just so it would look its best and hold up. So what do you think TQ? Uh, I think we should leave it aluminum. Leave it aluminum? Yeah, after thinking about everything you just said. <laughs> yeah, and it's easy to keep clean. Like right now it's super dirty, but whenever we get ready to, we're gonna, next we're gonna be going to pick the uh, the engine up and the blower, all that stuff at Schleybos. Uh And then we're gonna be taking it back home, uh, hoping to get it fitted for a new tarp if we got enough time. So between logoing it, getting the back gate fixed, like I've already told you guys, uh, with the new hinges and everything and hopefully getting it new tarped uh yeah we just got a lot of things here to get done in the next few months before leaf season really kicks off oh yeah i want to run this by you as well go ahead babe. i was just gonna say i don't know if you noticed in our area but some of the leaves are really starting to change over yeah um this is in our area so <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of heat stress in some of them yeah. but this is what else i'm thinking okay so last year we had the net come over the back half and then we'd have to pull it up and over to open the back doors for dumping. So what I'm thinking about doing with the new one is we're gonna do a solid tarp up front, three quarters of the way back, and then maybe at like that second joint here, the second rib, uh, we go to uh, the netting material because these things have to be able to breathe, guys. They can't stay completely compressed. Air has to be able to get in and out so you don't blow your walls out and make, yeah, just a huge disaster. So that's what I'm thinking. Uh, the only thing with that is the dust is going to come out that area and onto us where we're working right here a lot. Or should I do that reversed? Because everything blows in right here and hits that back wall and then it fills itself up all the way to the top. Uh, so do you think I should do solid back here to keep the dust off of us and then open the front up Which will make everything up front dusty and towards the truck or do we uh, just stay focused here on ourselves? So that's what else I'm thinking and then I got some other ideas as well with the tarp uh, the tarp will come Back it'll be riveted on the outside along the entire top. So it'll be riveted all the way around the top So just snap on at the very top real nice and clean uh, but when it gets to this back piece, I'm actually thinking about having it where it comes down on the inside. It'll come on the inside, riveted down maybe like a foot. And then we'll just be able to open the back panels up. That foot will stay uh, stuck there at, on each side. Obviously, I'll have to add another bar. But uh, yeah, just some ideas I'm thinking about. All right, back at Schley Boss, have some more fun. Apple Creek, Ohio, best dealership in the world. If you don't believe me, come in here, talk to Ruben, any of the other guys in here, and you'll be a believer before you know it. Brand new mower just sitting here running. Polar 7000 series. Boom, bada bing. Give you a quick peek. This doesn't do it fully justice, but. You guys have seen it if you've been around the channel for a long time. This is just one small portion. Yeah, that, that'll be fine. Like I told you, it's going to the fabricators. Basically, we got to replace these uh, hinges here. There's actually a little bit of that material hanging out there, but uh, they put plastic, like I don't even know what you would call them, sleeves inside of here, and those sleeves basically disintegrated. So we were getting some wobble in there. Uh, whenever we went to take it off, it was very hard to get it off. 
So we're gonna go to a um, hardened steel sleeve in this in here and down here as well. So we won't have that problem anymore. Tell you what, I am whooped after today, guys. Our heat index is well up over 100 degrees. The humidity, I mean, you literally just feel like you're soaking wet at all times. Like, it's almost miserable to be outside. You guys down south, trust me, we know exactly what you're feeling like right now. This isn't a typical weather here in Ohio. Kind of like, you know, 40, 30 degrees isn't typical for you guys in the, the winter time. But uh, we're not going to complain too much. We'll get through it. It's not that big of a deal. We made it through another successful work week, and uh, we're going to rest up now and be ready to go next week. Hey, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and turning on your notification bell. We'd love for you to stick around. If you're into lawn care, landscaping, snow removal, husband and wife team, just having a goofy time and you know trying to make work and life a little bit easier, you know, subscribe to the channel, guys. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. Thanks for watching, guys. TQ out. Peace.